I've got Apple's new Apple TV 4K. This is the updated version, which has the brand new Siri remote. Let's unbox it. So there's not much to this, uh, right? It's uh, all pretty small, but uh, the big things here are uh, the Apple TV 4K now has the A12 chip, Apple's A12 chip. It supports high frame rate HDR, so which means that you're gonna have, see 60 frames per second video, uh, which I believe is supported over AirPlay too. And um, of course, you've got the newer remote, which I'll, I'll unsheathe momentarily. So here's the, is this fatter? <laughs> is Apple TV just getting thicker and thicker? Um, I will say that uh, this is interesting. You know, the original Apple TV, after the, because I think there was one that was silver in the beginning, but the original sort of black Apple TV uh, never needed uh, this kind of, I mean, ventilation. So there's a, uh, there's a, a vent system here. Uh, so I guess it produces some heat. Oh, this is, I guess, to charge up the remote, right? Still ships with the cable to charge up the remote. And then uh, here's your, your power cord. Nothing that, I swear this hasn't changed in ages. Same power cord they've had forever. I'll just pull the black off of there. Woo, shiny. I'm going to plug this in. This is going to get connected to my uh, 4K TV. I have a Roku, uh, TCL Roku TV, uh, so we're going to connect to that. And uh, I'm supposed to use this uh, HDMI cable, which supports 4K uh, Dolby Vision, uh, because this supports Dolby Vision. So that's important that I use this. Uh, this is kind of the, this is the star, right? The new Apple TV remote control. Now. I've made no secret of my absolute hatred of the last uh, Apple TV remote. So this redesign, which is a way a callback to an earlier version of the Apple TV remote, which was all aluminum. Uh, but now there's no question, if I hold this even closing my eyes, I know exactly what I'm doing. We've got this new sort of dial. It's not a, it's not a movable dial, but it's got a two, there's a button in the center. And then there's this on the outside, which I think is going to be used, you can see that, which I think is gonna be used to um, to control like the video. There's back button, there's play, pause, mute, volume, and the main Apple TV menu button. It's a little bit thicker, heavier, not wider, but definitely taller than the last one. I think this is gonna just it's going to be a huge improvement over the last uh, the last remote. Uh, Apple TV 4K starts at 179 for uh, the 32 gigabyte model, uh, 199 for the 64 gigabyte model, uh, and you know because you can don't obviously you can download apps and uh, you can play games. It works with Apple Arcade. Uh, I think they've removed the accelerometer from the remote, so I don't think you can use this as a gaming device anymore. They're going to recommend that, for example, I would use uh, a, a, another gaming remote or maybe my phone. That's a possibility too. You certainly could use your, your phone as a remote. New, uh, new Apple uh, TV 4K. We're going to uh, connect to our TV and uh, try it out. Set up and getting the hang of the new remote was basically a piece of cake. The new Apple TV 4K remote is incredibly intuitive. You've got the touch sensitive pad in the middle uh, for basically uh, scrubbing through the video. And then you've got the, uh, the ring on the outside for making bigger jumps. I will say that uh, this remote did not help me understand the movie Tenant any better. Fun fact, the Apple TV second generation remote, that little aluminum device, which actually looks a little bit like the new one, does work with the new Apple TV. Not well, you have to really point it at the TV, but it does work. The new uh, power button on the Apple TV 4K remote is useful for a tap to put things to sleep, and if you hold it down, it will shut off the Apple TV and the television.
What should I watch? Play some Bruno Mars. What's the temperature in London? How's the Dow Jones doing? What did he say? Apple TV's TV app home screen makes it easy to uh, navigate and find uh, what you want and what you need. Apple TV 4K also acts as a smart home hub and you can control your smart home devices through your voice as long as they're home kit and also through this interface. It's easy to connect some of your favorite accessories to your Apple TV 4K. I connected my AirPods Pro and an Xbox One controller. So now I was listening to this game and playing it with the Xbox One controller. So listening to it through the AirPods Pro and using the controller to play the game. Uh, which by the way is really important because you can no longer play games with your Apple TV remote because it does not have an accelerometer. Apple TV 4K has an interesting uh, color balance uh, utility which basically uses your phone to and the phone's FaceTime camera uh, to, to read the colors that are being produced on screen to then adjust the TV setting, the color balance on the TV. Um, I wish I could say this was easy to do. Uh, you have to hold your phone really close. Uh, we struggled. Um, it, we had to start over again. Um, you have to hold it still, hold it really close, and don't move it. Uh, and then in the end, the results weren't, uh, they weren't as good as I thought they would be. And I was kind of like happy to go back to uh, Dolby Vision. And by the way, if you have Dolby Vision on your TV already, uh, you won't need to do this. Um, basically, it'll tell you that uh, you've got Dolby Vision running and you don't need the color balance. So what do I think of Apple TV 4K, the second generation? Um, obviously it's familiar because this hasn't changed. Uh, in the interface, the Apple TV home screen, uh, I've gotten used to using that. Uh, it's certainly not the cheapest uh, streaming platform, but it does more than that. It's not just for streaming your favorite, uh, uh, you know, your Netflix, your Amazon Prime, your HBO Max. Uh, but it also does things like lets you play games and connect all your Bluetooth devices and play music. I was playing my audio through my HomePod, but I could also do it through my AirPods Pro. So uh, there's a lot of versatility in here. But let's talk about the true story. The real story here is this remote. This remote is, is just a 10 times improvement over the previous Apple TV 4K remote, uh, Apple TV remote. Uh, yeah, we lost the accelerometer, uh, but you know, if you have a, a game controller, a Bluetooth game controller for a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox One, uh, you can con connect it to it. And I've done it and it works really well. The design here is good. Uh, it's bigger, but that's okay. It feels good. Uh, the buttons are, are easy to figure out. I think they the right selection of buttons uh, and uh, you know I think it's smart that they put the Siri button on the side to reflect uh, what you're used to with your your iPhone so it's a little bit of reflection there you know even if uh, you didn't need or want a new Apple TV 4k uh, and you really were interested in getting the new remote you can buy this remote for $59 uh, if you have a 4K TV, Apple TV 4K already, it's it's a really good investment. So if you have a current Apple TV 4K, I don't know that you absolutely have to get this update. Uh, you know, it, yes, it does bring together all of your Apple services, Apple Arcade, Apple uh, News, Apple Fitness Plus. I mean, if you wanted to do your Fitness Plus and integrate with your Apple Watch, I mean, you can stand there in front of it and do all that. So, you know, that's cool, but you can also do that with your current Apple uh, TV 4K. Do you need the HDR, uh, high frame rate HDR, uh, 60 frames per second? There isn't that much content uh, that's using it. There's some sports content that will be using it. Uh, Red Bull, right now, the Red Bull app on Apple TV has it, uh, but I don't know if you're gonna notice the difference that much. That may not be worth it just for that. But again, the remote, <laughs> the remote's the star. 
Hello, my pretty. Oh, hi. Thanks for watching. And remember to rate, review, and subscribe.